We've had the opportunity to work with our um, instructional staff developers to put together a plan that is second to none. I'm very proud of our teachers and the way we've been able to work with the district. And what we've seen is that the, the rigor has just moved tenfold. Not only in our language arts and reading courses, but in our biology, in our mathematics, our social studies, because it's rubbing off. The, the, the whole process, and, and the other teachers coming in saying, hey, we'd like to be a part of this too. What are some of the strategies that we could use? So what we've seen is a huge shift, a huge paradigm shift in the growth mindset and the, and, and the belief in the kids and the fact that collaborative structures need to happen. I really liked that we were, had you guys laid out the standards we needed. Because when you let them practice a lot more, when you don't so much put a big grade on it, more of like, we're letting you talk about this, letting you experience it, talk with your classmates, decide it out. The kids are a lot more willing to answer. Show me, what is, how are you gonna, how are you gonna turn that into a show me technique? Today in my class, you saw the kids working collaboratively to improve writing. And my, what I'm trying to do is get the students to do the work. Because before, I had been doing a lot of teacher, you know, direct teaching. But what I really want to get the students to do, and what, because of this training, what I've really been prompted to do is get the students to teach each other and to teach you know, themselves in these collaborative groups. So that's what you saw today, is them collaborating together to improve. Okay, even just, just practice like, like an angry pirate or just anything, right? Because of the participation in the project, my planning became more focused on, A, using student work, to in my lessons, so anything that I would grade the night before, I would use that in my lessons the next day. And that immediately got the students to become more engaged. The other thing is just making sure every lesson had collaborative structures. I think that for planning, the best, uh, the biggest change, the best change that I made was having students look at their own work and look at their own data before they moved forward. Um, kind of helped to create a roadmap for where we were going in the next few days or even in the next few weeks. And if they had a place that they knew that they were starting from, they could use that as a jumping off point for the work, the progress that they needed to make. Smart move, get the numbers down first. Cool, and don't forget, there's more than one right way to do this. Rather than having them speak out to the whole class, they gain a little confidence by collaborating in groups of three or four. And then they can take that information from the three or four together, sort of synthesize it, and create a more complete, meaningful answer when they're asked to share with the whole class. So, the biggest differences in the resources that I use now, um, I have started using much shorter texts because we were using much longer texts that I think I was, they were almost losing attention and they weren't ready for that yet. And so when I started using those short synthesis articles, it was easier for them to understand the material, to get it, and then we could graduate into a longer text. And with those short synthesis articles, one of the most valuable things that we taught with them was the elaboration piece. And that was the biggest takeaway that my students had from the FSA, we used the technique of CC, where um, during their body paragraphs they had to use claim, evidence, citation, and elaboration. And because of those short synthesis articles, it was very easy for them to use all four of those in each of their body paragraphs to cite their claim, to find their evidence, cite it, and then elaborate. So because it was a very small targeted area, it was very easy for them to practice that very specific technique and they, they got very, very proficient. Going into the test, I was very prepared because I was provided with other lessons beforehand. And even though I had been a strong writer beforehand, I'm more of a creative writer. The, what you were teaching us, like the CC, the, just remembering how you wrote them, on the board, just being able to look up and just remember how you put them in and to remember the order they were in kind of helped me. Okay, so going into the writing FSA, I felt prepared because like we were doing so much practice in class, so I just like, I felt like I was ready to do it, you know? Um, elaboration definitely was for me when it clicked because I first came in not really knowing anything about it. I was just 
feel like I was stuck with just imagery. Like, you know, I had to describe everything, but we started learning different types of it. And by the end, and I was ready to take the test, I just felt way more comfortable with it because we spent so much time on learning that. Sometimes when we went around the classroom, I felt like it was helpful when we walked around the class and looked at like the good essays and the bad essays, and like we were like critiquing them. And right, we figured out what we were doing wrong and what they were doing right. You know. We have received nothing but positive feedback and most of the time it's, I loved this training, how can I get it to the rest of my colleagues? When you're going through and you're thinking about your hooks, that's something that you can absolutely do. It's draw on a personal experience that you already have. Because we had so much success at Clearwater and then over the summer such positive feedback, we're taking the show on the road and we are going into schools for site-based professional development and so we can either bring the progressive teaching practices training to you as a whole maybe for an after-school PD or we can bring it in in pieces on common planning or however that works for your team. Remember that when Hurricane Sandy hits up north it's not like